At 6.30 now, we're staying on top of some breaking news that is affecting uh, traffic in the South Metro area. An apartment fire has been contained at this point off of South Parker Road. Uh, you can see, though, it has been a massive response this morning. Air Tracker 7 is over the Club Valencia Apartments. Uh, parts of Parker Road are closed because of this uh, emergency response. If that's part of your morning commute, you want to find a way around it. And Jason will be here in just a second to help you uh, get around that area. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta just arrived on the scene there. What are you seeing from your vantage point? You know, first off, we've been to a lot of fires so many times, right? And more so than any, I think, fire that we've been to in the past. You can really smell the smoke in this neighborhood this morning. You can also really see it. You guys mentioned the presence of not only law enforcement officers, but also fire department trucks and vehicles. And it is really, really massive this morning. It's a really interesting complex because it's kind of shaped in a circle. So it's just surrounded by all of these fire trucks. I mean, a brand new one just pulled up here in the past two minutes or so. Really all you see in this area are those red and blue flashing lights from all of these fire trucks. You're seeing a lot of firefighters in this area this morning. We know at least one person was rescued. Six people have been evaluated so far on scene. Officials kind of keeping us pretty far back because again, a really big scene. It seems like they're dealing with a lot inside of this complex. We do have a second vantage point of this fire. You can kind of see it from a different angle than where we are this morning. Again, just a really big presence of law enforcement officers of these fire trucks and of firefighters here that are trying to help as many of these residents as possible. Just a quick mention. You guys also mentioned roadways and those closures. We know Parker Road that's closed between Mississippi and Florida while firefighters continue to kind of figure out what exactly is going on here. Of course, figure out how this fire started as well. And another really important piece of information. We know this isn't the first time that there's been a fire at this complex. The last time there was one almost exactly three months ago back in November. We know that three people were taken to the hospital that time. Dozens were left without a home. And then you guys back in 2017, another fire here. It was then that the assistant fire chief told Denver 7 that these condos were built back in 1960 that predated some adopted fire code. So there was no sprinkler system inside of the building. That's one of our big questions this morning. Is there a sprinkler system in there now? Of course, we're also trying to figure out how many people did end up having to be rescued. We know initially it was just that one person again, six people being evaluated here on scene. We're going to try and find someone to talk to here this morning. And of course, we'll bring you the latest information from this area. I briefly mentioned those road closures. Jason has more on what you can do to try and get around this situation. Yeah, it, it's not too bad to get around it, but let me show you on the map exactly where we're talking about. So this is the area down here in the southeast side of town, Glendale, south uh, into technically it's Arapahoe County, but this is the section. This is the apartment, that round apartment building right here. So it's this section between Mississippi and Florida that is closed down. So Florida gets you to Quebec, Quebec Way gets you around it as well. Willow gets you around it. So you can get around the uh, fire and the closure area for right now, but we do have this closure in place, Lisa, for that building fire. Another big problem up to the north side of town with a crash near Highway 36 and I-25. I'll have that for you coming up in just a minute.